Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Kay, and I am back, back with another video. If you are new here, I am Kay, I am your style bestie, helping you master your confidence through fashion, style, and beauty. Period, let's get into it. But for all my um, day ones loyal to the soils, how you, how you been, friend? Have you been keeping up with Kay? I sure hope so. I've been everywhere, I hope you've been watching the vlogs and been keeping up. Um, because things are things are going very well. Things are going very, very well. But I cannot lie about the fact that it's been a lot, and it's hard to keep up at this point. Trying to juggle, y'all know. If you if you're not new here, you know the chronicles of me trying to juggle my nine to five as an assistant principal in my business as a style influencer, content creator. Now, like panelist, because that was on my bucket list. Um, has been really, really difficult. What's so crazy is that like motherhood is still mothering. Like I will never complain about motherhood. Um, I will say that I make that a non-negotiable. My family is a non-negotiable. So if I'm spending a lot of time away from my family, then any moment I'm with my family, I'm maximizing. So that means I don't have a social life right now. There have been a lot of vlogs and I owe you guys a style haul. I owe you some things, okay? We need to talk about the fashion because it's rich bitch season. It's fall is a fly bitch sport. I'm just saying what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just here to deliver the message. It just is what it is. It is not easy to be fly in fall if you're not already like a fly girl. And, and, and listen to me when I say this. What I mean is, Fall is expensive because it's about outerwear, it's about coats, accessories, boots, those things are not cheap. Now, in the summertime, we're wearing less clothes, so we don't have to spend as much money. But what I will say is I feel like if you invest in the right things, you won't be spending money every single fall and winter. What's gonna happen is you've invested the money up front in the right pieces, outerwear, boots, shawls, you know, quality sweaters, bags, accessories. So that means next winter, next fall, these things will still be in style. And if you're not new here, I've been trying to curate a wardrobe that for me never goes out of style. So while it may look like I am buying a lot of things or I spend a lot of money, I am doing that. I most definitely am doing that. <laughs> but some things I do get are gifted and I'm very forthcoming about that. And then two, I've been purging. So I started selling some things on Poshmark. That kind of became a headache because I don't have a lot of time. So I did a closet sale on my Instagram, which was really good. It was a little overwhelming though. So then I went ahead and just donated a lot of things to a local shelter, to Veterans Affairs of America, and to like local women's shelters. I've actually done the same thing for my kids and my husband's clothes because I'm not trying to live in excess because it's like gluttony is like sin in my eyes. So that's another conversation for another day. But anyway, get in here and let's get into this style haul. I want to show you all the things that I've added to my wardrobe. But I always start with my lip combo because that's like the most common question that I get. Also, one of the most common questions that I get is about my tech. So I'm going to tell you both. So my lip is actually, this is like my new favorite nude. I've been struggling with my lip combos because of my Invisalign. Side note, if I tear up, I'm not sad or crying. Allergies, I don't know what it is, but it's killing me this season. It's literally killing me. So my lip combo is, first I did Rent Do by One Size, which is like a medium tone brown, a little similar to Cork by MAC. And then I did Limitless Brown by Makeup Forever on the very outer part of my lip, the outer line of my lip. And then I take, what is this? Impulsive by MAC. Impulsive by MAC, it's like a brown color. It's so pretty. I use that in between both liners to kind of like blend them together. So I basically end up with a brown lip. But then I take this color that I did not think I was going to absolutely love. Honey Love, I've always had Honey Love by MAC. It's always been one of my favorites, but I have felt like recently it was a little more mauve than what I remembered it. 
but this I put in the center of my lip and it is chef's kiss. I actually like my lip, my top lip to be a little bit more brown nowadays. So I put more of the honey love on my bottom lip, just a little bit in the center of my pout of my top lip. And then I'm going to scream this hack from the top of the mountains. I got this from the girls on TikTok. Also, are you following me over there? Are you following me over there? Oh, prove it. Let me see, pull up your phone, show me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you should be. <laughs> but the girls on TikTok told me this hack where you take a brown gloss over top of your liner, like just over top of the liner, and I love that. And the center of my lip is still like a satiny mood, a satiny matte type of finish. And this is the shade Fudge Me by NYX. It's like a, a cool brown. I have so many browns. But first of all, this outfit, I'm supposed to have these glasses on. This um, shirt, I'm gonna show you a picture, I'm gonna pop up a picture up here of me wearing this shirt. It's the like viral patent leather oxblood set from H&M. I ended up getting very lucky because I was able to order it before it was even released. There was a glitch, they accidentally released it and I got it <laughs> and then they took it off the website. Um, but these glasses go with my outfit. I hope there's no glare. These outfits are from Peblar. I think I'm saying it right. Look at these. Oh my God. Oh my God. Girl, look at these. Getting two. So these are by Peblar. Peblar. I think I'm saying it right. Off Instagram, I ordered these from her and they are everything. Like, everything. Oh my God. Like, you know how you get something, a piece, you order a piece or you, you add something to your wardrobe and you're like, yeah, this is inspiring me to get dressed or this is inspiring an outfit or a look or a series of looks. That's what I would say about these sunglasses. So, this is actually the first item I'm going to start with. I actually just got these. I'm looking in my monitor because oh i gotta sneeze i'm looking at my monitor because i have to make sure it's not picking up a glare because i have my light behind me but these are so fire maybe by the time this video goes up i'll have my professional pictures back from my photographer because i had to shoot this morning um so yeah look these are so fire and i they were so affordable look at the stones here so they are like a gucci dupe stunning darling stunning and i feel like they really give a good cool girl effect and that's why I say when it comes to like your fall winter wardrobe, I feel like the right accessories, they don't have to cost a lot. They really don't have to cost a lot. When I say sometimes investing in the right accessories or the right pieces, you could be investing time because that means I am taking my time to research and look for the right pieces. That doesn't mean I'm investing a lot of money, but these would be in my wardrobe for forever. Like these are fly. And if you don't know, Gucci made a pair of these years ago, years ago. So yeah, they're not going anywhere. Um, and I actually love them clear over getting them with a like tinted lens. I think she has them with a tinted lens, I can't remember. But she put them on her page. When I say I ran, like Shikari Richardson ran, <laughs> to pick up the shade. She also had this denim shirt jacket that was like, had these rhinestones. I literally had to skirt. I had to like pace myself because I am really trying to be very strategic about what, just because it's cute doesn't mean I need it. Just because it's cute doesn't mean I need it. I literally have to repeat that to myself over and over and over again because that is how I ended up with so much shit. <sighs> so these are the glasses. They give a good cool girl effect. They make, I think, any outfit look a little more on trend, casual. Like if you're just throwing on some jeans and a white shirt or like a leather jacket, these take it from, oh, that's a cute outfit, to she's stylish. Like, that girl can dress. Yeah. So that would be my first item. And look, they kind of, they bend here. See how they bend? And the, the um, these bend like that, too. See how that happens? That's kind of cool, right? So I really like these. They are very well made. Can't even front. I actually am surprised they were so affordable. I thought they were gonna be more. When I clicked the link, I just knew like I was gonna be spending like $80, $70 easily, but I don't think, I think they were less than 50. Okay, more accessories. <laughs> so this is a new purchase. And this is from Zara. You know how much we love Zara. And when I saw this, I didn't think twice. I saw it in LA. I went to LA, for those who are new here or you haven't seen the vlog or you don't, 
or you don't follow me on Instagram or you don't follow me on TikTok, this may be new news to you. But to my day ones and my loyals, they already know this. I went to LA to talk on a panel as the new face of affiliate marketing along with Collective Voice. If y'all don't know, that's like my favorite platform to link with. I get most of my brand partnerships through Collective Voice. So they took me to LA with them to speak on a panel with Creator IQ, Connect, and the panel was all about how to basically like transform your creator program. All the brands were there. Summer Fridays, Bays, all of your favorite brands were there, especially brands that have like affiliate programs and creator programs. They were there. And so anyway, that's just long story short. Really was long story long. But I saw this, it was a Zara right outside of my hotel because I stayed downtown LA. And I went in there before my flight because I had a red eye. And I came across this like croc embossed clutch and it's like a cylinder almost. And it has this gold closure here which is just to me it just looks so high quality it looks so high quality it does have a chain and even the associates it does have a chain and even the associates in the store were like where'd you find that when i tell you i was so glad i got it it cost 59.99 to me it was worth every penny because i'm not getting rid of this for at least another three four years it's beautiful okay let's move on to the next accessory these two bags were gifted to me by Kurt Geiger. So this is a part of their new collection. It's giving Prada to me. And I was never a fan of bags this shape because I grew up with bags like this. Like the 90s raised me. The early 90s raised me. So all of the Y2K fashion and the 90s fashion that's coming back or the early 2000s fashion that's coming back, it's never really wowed me. But this, when they sent me this, I was like, okay, yeah, now I'm intrigued. Like they sent me a photo of it first and I chose this one. I really like it. I like the size of it. I like the size of the handle. It is adjustable um, depending on your arm size. Um, and it has this closure here, which I like versus a zipper. But it kind of reminds me of Prada. I really like it a lot. It's just so, it's such good quality. And it's very different from the shapes that they typically do. Um, and then the next bag is also from Kurt Geiger. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, and you saw I took this bag to Fashion Week, she is just so freaking cute. Highly recommend this bag. Highly recommend this because this is so perfect for like nights out. Um, you're going out and you just don't want a big old bag. Um, sometimes even some crossbody bags can like just be overpowering or can like take away from the look, cover the look a little too much. This is just so cute and what makes it even cuter is the suede. Like the suede and then the back is leather and it does have a pocket in the back. So that makes it even more um, functional. The chain, this like rustic, like brass chain is so adorable. Of course they have their iconic eagle head there. And if it's just enough, it's gonna fit your card case, your car keys, your wallet. Um, if it's just enough, depending on your phone size, if you have a Pro Max or a Plus, it won't fit. But if you have a standard iPhone size, it will fit. Um, it fit my key fob, it fit my garage opener, it fit what I needed. So I'm gonna post um, a video of me wearing this bag um, and it's also the perfect pop of color i so hope they if they come out with this in like a cobalt blue oh my god i'm gonna buy it so fast but this one was gifted to me i also like the the way the handle is this strap also is detachable which is great i feel like you can wear i want to try to wear this as a belt bag also i think it would be really really cute but it's the perfect pop of color especially for a girl like me who always tends to opt for like just a, a white shirt and jeans or like a basic top and bottom that's the perfect pop of color Okay, I wanna thank Kurt Geiger for these bags, these beautiful, beautiful bags. Thank you, Kurt Geiger, thank you for these bags. I love them, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And I feel like whenever I'm gonna be on my grown woman, this is the bag that I'm gonna wear. So on to the next accessory is shoes. Let's get into these sh shoes, darling. Okay, so these two pairs of shoes I'm gonna show you are shoes that I bought myself. Well, not both of them, I bought myself. One pair was gifted. One of them is a pair of shoes that I bought for myself for my birthday. I'm a Libra, gang, gang, gang. I don't wanna hear nothing else, okay? <laughs> I'm a Libra. My birthday was September 25th and I spent my birthday resting, child. But I did buy myself a gift. This gift was influenced by Carrie. 
and Brittany from Pockets and Bows. Carrie is Carrie Spence. These Alexander Wang boutiques. Look at these. Oh, get, get into it. Get into it. Get into these shoes. Get into them. So these are a pair of Alexander Wang booties. They are mesh. And I got them off of Satire, but I was influenced when Carrie wore hers to Fashion Week, we went to Tashira's live taping of the Just Us podcast at the Fashion File flagship store in New York. And Carrie had on these mesh Alexander Wang pumps. And they just caught my eye. And she was telling me how comfortable they were. And so I was like, mm, do I need to get them? I don't know. So I just had been on, I had just been looking at them because she said they were really affordable. And she had told me that she almost bought the boots. So I was like, well, let me look at the boots because I don't think I need another mesh. I have a mesh pump. I did need a black mesh pump, but I had just bought some from Jeffrey Campbell. So I was like, I don't need another black mesh pump. I'm also trying not to buy doubles of things. Like I got one mesh pump. I don't need another mesh pump. Okay, we're not living in excess. But then when she mentioned the booties, I was like, ooh, but a mesh booty? Boo-boo, get into her. Okay, so let me give you the details. So it has this, uh, this stone detail for the A for Alexander Wang, okay? Then it has this like cap toe here. And the cap toe is like suede, which I love. The heel is also covered in suede and then the suede goes up the back of the zipper. The toe is actually so super pointy, which is what I absolutely adore about this shoe. And then the inside of the Alexander Wang shoe, I don't think I can show you, but the inside you can kind of see there. Inside has this extra like padding in it um, that makes it a little more comfortable. Once I broke these in, I absolutely love them. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna show you how I styled them for my birthday. Um, I styled them exactly how I saw them in my head. I'm in my baggy jean girl era, okay? So everything has to go with a baggy jean, which I actually think everything does go with the baggy jean. So I styled them with my favorite Gap men's jeans, which I'm wearing them right now, surprise. <laughs> and a new Zara blazer that I just bought. So that's the next, well, I'll get into the blazer later. But that blazer is dope as fuck. Um, I bought it because I saw the model styled it. She had it like buttoned to the collar and I've been wanting to replace my blazer. So I got that one. It's like an off white. I wore it as like a shirt and that's how I plan to wear it. It's like a shirt. If I wear it any other way, it's going to be with like a basic um, tank underneath. And I love that blazer so much. So I added that to my fall wardrobe, but I also got rid of like four, maybe five blazers. Yeah, I probably got rid of five blazers because again, we don't need to live in excess. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Before we get into the next shoe, let me just stay on this blazer train. Everybody's seen this gold blazer by now on my page. <laughs> um, that gold blazer is probably my favorite purchase of the season. And I feel like I've been saying that a lot and I'm glad I've been saying that a lot because it makes me feel like every purchase that I've been purchasing has been intentional and they're items that I love versus just buying stuff because it's cute. And that's my goal is to like buy things that I love. So the gold blazer, I'm gonna show a picture of it here. I wore it first in LA and I had a red lip, basic crop top, um, and then some highway Zara jeans and then a basic um, sandal heel. And then I wore them again. Oh, and I wore them with my Eliza Johnson sunglasses that I didn't bring them down here, but that's another accessory I just added to my wardrobe. Y'all know how I am when it comes to sunglasses. The next thing I do need to purge though is like some old sunglasses because I may or may not have just bought a pair of Loewe sunglasses this morning. Don't judge me. When it comes to sunglasses, I don't need to give an excuse. I don't need to give a reason. That's my signature. And y'all know that about me. Period. If you're new here, then you'll come to know that about me. I love a sunglass. If I could be anything, I'd be a hair done and I'd be a sunglasses. Duh. So anyway, that's the gold blazer showing you here how I styled it. Um, and if it restocks, of course I have all these links in the details. I also wanna show you all how to shop with me because I think I don't do a great job of putting my links on YouTube. I just get so enthralled with talking to y'all and sharing with y'all that I don't even think about the damn links. So sorry y'all, I'm gonna do better. <laughs> on to the next item, back to the boots. 
So my husband took a pair of boots off my wish list. If you have been here for a little while, then you have seen my fall wish list. Was it fall or was it spring? I think it was a fall wish list. Um, I think it was a luxury wish list from, some, from a little while ago. And these Attico boots were on there. I first saw these Attico boots on Buy Me Chanel and I was in love, in love, in love, in love. And so they had been on my wish list and I actually had been thinking about pulling the trigger on them for, you know, like the last couple months. But then my husband was like, well, you know, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, ha ha ha. I got you, son. And so he got them for me. I think we also got those from Satire as well. It wasn't my Teresa. I can't remember, but we found them slightly on sale for under a thousand dollars. They're worth every penny. Highly recommend when it comes to designer shoes. I've learned my lesson. I learned my lesson at Fashion Week. Size up, a whole size. Not a half size, a whole size. These I technically could have gone up just a half size. I went up a whole size. I still don't regret it. But my Attico boots, I went up an entire size. An entire size. And I'm very glad I did. I also asked Chanel first before pulling the trigger on them and she confirmed that I should go up a whole size and I'm very glad I did. I'm popping up here how I styled them. So I actually wore them in a campaign for Collective Voice and I wore them with this new skirt that I just got from Anthropology. I saw that skirt in the store and I think I blacked out and then checked out. Chow. Like some things are just a no brainer. Um, I love it. In this picture, I'm not wearing tights. Realistically, I would wear tights with this because it's a little short and I sized up to a size 14 for a little bit more length. It does have stretch. It is a high quality skirt. I bought a similar one from Anthropology maybe a couple months ago and it's in black. I actually don't even want that black one no more because the denim version is 10 times better. The silhouette is perfect, especially if you're a girl that like doesn't have hips or even if you do, but if you're a girl that's lacking in the hip area and you want like an hourglass type shape, this is great. It has some stretch, but again, I still would size up. It gives that Western vibe too. So, you know, Western is kind of making a comeback and I styled it with an off the shoulder bodysuit that I got from Revolve maybe a year ago. And it's cute. The whole outfit, the, the new skirt, the beautiful boots, it's, it's so cute. And the, the shades were also from Anthropology, but no, the shades were from Free People. But I think I really wanna restyle this outfit. Same boots, same skirt. I just bought some chocolate brown, like sheer um, stockings. And I want to wear a dark denim Western shirt. Like I wanna do the, a Western, but like, glam cutesy version with those boots um i didn't have nothing that went with them boots i didn't care i will build my whole wardrobe around those boots because i love them that much they are not wide cat friendly fyi um so i have been on the hunt for like different skirts and dresses that i can pair with that boot and then i'll just do like blazers sweaters you know mini skirts pleated skirts leather skirts faux leather skirts croc skirts pad leather skirts whatever it's all revolving around the boot the boot is the main character period speaking of shoes let me get another pair of shoes that i bought these shoes are by jeffrey campbell and jeffrey campbell has really been like on one lately i'm like okay uncle jeffrey <laughs> here they go also inspired by chanel but they are an alaya dupe the heel is barely anything but i will tell you this this part is a little raw so I'm gonna have to figure something out here. While the heel is low um, and they're easy to walk in, that toe part after a while is like started rubbing on my against my toes and that was a, that was bothering me a little bit. Um, but this gold detail here, um, very similar to like the Alaya dupes that I have that are from Steve Madden. But I love these so much. The colors, everything, I would have bought them in black as well. I don't think this color is available anymore, but I think the black ones are from Nordstrom. These are beautiful, this beautiful. Great for a jean, a pant, a trouser, cause this peeks right through. I'm gonna show you how I styled them. I'm gonna pop a picture up here or a video of how I styled them. That whole outfit eight. Speaking of that outfit, um, <laughs> those green pants are new. I'm gonna show you another way I styled those green pants. Those green pants are new in my wardrobe. They're from Zara. I don't necessarily think that they're worth the price. I just didn't feel like sending them back because once I had styled them like many ways, I was like, oh, these actually work. But I don't think the quality of them it justifies them being freaking $90. Like, Zara, what, what are you doing, Ariana? <laughs> Sometimes Zara gets beside herself, you know. 
But anyway, moving right along. Um, speaking of those green pants, I styled them also with a really cute um, black shirt. And I feel like that black shirt is so me because like I said, my foundation of my wardrobe is usually pretty basic. I don't do too much color. Like I keep it pretty basic and I my personality lives in my accessories. But this shirt is what I would call an elevated basic. I think it's still on sale. Trust me, it's gonna be the best freaking $40 you ever spend. Especially if you're a person who likes the waist to be cinched or you like any type of cinching in the waist and you like exaggerated shoulders or shoulder pads. This shirt was like $40 and it's long, so it kind of covers the belly, comes over the behind a little bit. And then it has a, um, pull in the back so you can cinch it as much as you like, as tight as you like. I got a large um, and then it, it has the, the wider shoulders which I absolutely love. So that's something else that I added to my wardrobe. So I'm going to pop up here also. Yo, I, <laughs> I missed the best part, the freaking outerwear. <laughs> So I added some outerwear to my wardrobe as well, but before I get into that, I wanna show you this faux leather top that I wore on the panel that I spoke on, and it is by Lovers and Friends, it's from Revolve. It was gifted to me, so I have to put that out there. It was gifted to me, but I would buy this over and over. If it came in like a bone color or a chocolate brown, first of all, Lovers and Friends, I beg of you, please make this in a chocolate brown. The girls need it. It's this asymmetrical faux leather top. I love, 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 love it. And this is what I mean by like elevated basics. Like it is a basic black faux leather top, but it gives drama. So even if I'm just wearing it with jeans or trousers or whatever I'm wearing it with, it really makes a statement. And this is something that's not going out of style. Cause you know, right now in the fall, it's all about textures like patent leather, vinyl, faux leather, leather, suede girls, suede. We don't do faux suede, keep that shit at home. Don't bring that shit over here. But suede is that girl, suede is that girl. Animal skin, animal prints. Speaking of animal prints, let's get into this outerwear situation. I'm gonna pop some photos and videos up here, but baby, get into this um, cheetah jacket, okay? Also gifted to me by Revolve, Fire, by House of Harlow. I was like, okay, everybody's playing into the animal print thing. And animal print can most definitely be a pop of color. It can be your pop of color. I felt like so can metallic. But this coat, it literally came in the mail while I was at Fashion Week. This coat, round of applause, Revolve, House of Harlow. Beautiful. And it's pony, it like it's pony hair, so you can feel the, not fur, but like fur, the hair. It's like, it feels like pony hair. Um, It's beautiful. That is my animal print for the fall winter. I'm not buying into that trend too heavily. Unless I come across something that I like just can't live without, like maybe like a boot, like a cheetah print boot, um, a leopard mule maybe. That's as far as I'm gonna go with it. I don't believe that it is trendy. It is definitely a trend. I think especially if you have like a, um, cheetah print boot. I just got rid of a pair of cheetah print boots. Not because they're out of style, because I want an updated pair. And I was looking for, specifically typed in my browser, looking for a cheetah print boot maybe three years ago, honey. So it's not going out of style. But what I mean is that we can play into things so heavily and then later be like, what the am I, what the hell, excuse me. What the hell am I wearing all this goddamn round, round, round? So I can go hard. And so before I go hard, I was like, let me just do one statement animal print piece, okay? And we gonna keep it there. But she's beautiful, she's the moment. That's the hack when it comes to fall and winter dressing. Bro, if you invest in the right boots and outerwear, that's the outfit. It's too cold, nobody else sees what's underneath. So what's underneath can be as basic as you want it to be. It's the coat, it's the bag, it's the shoe. Okay. And even with that coat, I would throw on a pair of Sambas in a minute with some jeans and a white top, red lip, fire bag, face beat. Oh, okay. They're gonna be like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, okay, let's get into our coats. I'm looking at them right now. So I got this 90s leather crop leather jacket. It's giving 90s. And I, it's actually been on my wish list for a while ever since Shayna posted it. <clears throat> I wanted it. She chose not to get it. This was maybe like a year ago. She chose, she did. She said she didn't need it because it isn't cheap. But when I got it in the mail, I was like, damn, this is the most soft leather I have ever, 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 ever felt in my life. And I invest in good leather jackets, but I ain't never spent this much on a leather jacket. 
she is good. She's worth every penny. Every penny. I'm gonna pop a video or a picture up of her right here. She's fire. Fire again. It's the outfit. No matter what I'm wearing with it, because it makes a statement. I wore. I bought a. Well, I was gifted a black version. I bought the red one, but I was gifted a black version from Revolve. This one, I really thought I was gonna send back. Gifted or not, if I don't like it, I don't like it. I thought I was gonna send it back, and then I styled it, and I really like it. And the reason I really like it is because of the belt at the bottom. So for that reason, I'm gonna keep it. But what I am gonna do is get rid of another black leather jacket that I have. Cause again, we're not living in excess. No, we're not doing that. Um, and then the last item that I got, not gifted, but it is from Revolve. Y'all, this, Lam is it Lamarck? I'm lying. My red jacket is by Lamarck. My black jacket is by Camilla somebody. I'll pop the name up here. But my black Norma Kamali, it is faux leather, trench coat, eats down. Look at the picture. You see the material. I don't even need to say nothing else. I'm gonna let you take it in. I got it on sale on Revolve. She's beautiful. She is the moment. She is the outfit. With a nasty old boot and a good pair of sunglasses, child, stop playing. I really feel like I can even wear that trench coat as a dress. Like think of fashion week in February. Oh, with a, or with like a long bodysuit underneath. It's really giving Blade, the movie. Are y'all old enough to see that? You, you old enough to know what that is? Wesley Snipes? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I really love that French coat. No, no, trench coat. I really love that trench coat. Got it on sale and unfortunately I cannot find it anywhere else. So I'm gonna link it, but likely it's gonna be full price. Personally, I feel like it's worth full price. If there's any designer that I feel like I would splurge on, but it's still low key affordable, like it's not out of this world expensive, it's Norma Kamali. I would wear Norma Kamali in my casket. Love her, She's Norma Kamali is for all body types, all body shapes. So that concludes our first installment of our fall haul. It also was a little bit of how Kay styled it because I was able to show you how I styled majority of these items. Make sure you are following me on TikTok because we getting active over there. It's getting fun over there. Make sure you're actively following me on TikTok and you're definitely following me on Instagram. That's where the vibes are too. Also, I do post things on threads and I post here in our community on YouTube. Thank you so, so much for rocking with me thank you for watching tell a friend to tell a friend because we got a goal i'm trying to get to 15k by christmas get me there y'all i know you can do it i know y'all gonna do it y'all gonna hold me down y'all always hold me down but thank you so much for watching drop some feedback in the comments and let me know what else you want to see i got some stuff prepared for y'all bye